Hey everyone, how's it going? Just going to do a quick, real short video on a few shortcuts in Atom that will save you in the future and how to use Spectacle, which is a free window manager that's open sourced that's easy to download. So here we go. First really good shortcut in Atom is let's say you highlight a method and you want to move it around. You do Control Command up arrow or down arrow and you can move the method around in its entirety. Another way to select three lines like this is like Command L. It'll select one. You keep holding Command. You hit L again. Second line, third line. Now I can move all of these up and down. So that's pretty neat. Another thing, we got this thing called Mod Date. If I do Command D, it'll figure out that that's the word I'm looking for and highlight it. If I do command D again, it will find every other instance of the word mod date. And then eventually it'll stop selecting. I can do then right arrow. And I can start typing. Yeah, that makes no sense. But the idea is that you see that everything it highlighted is now linked to your keyboard. So that's called multiple cursors. And Adam has it built in. Another cool thing is, where's my file tree? If I do command backslash, I can see all my files. Backslash again, they go away. Eventually you'll know what files you're looking for, so you'll do command T, and you can search for the file now. You can do like content fetcher, and it'll open that file for you. If you do command shift left bracket, you go left throughout the tabs, right bracket goes right. If you do command W, you close the tabs. So now we can go through. And if I have this open and say I close this, I do right click, split right. I can now split this right and alternate. The shortcuts in Atom for some reason are extremely strange to go from one pane to the other. So just discover that on your own. Honestly, it's not worth the time. Um, I just use my mouse. It's much quicker because you can use your thumb and just click left and right. Now, if you see here, I, I CD'd into my project called Auto. And these are all the files and folders in there. If I do Adam Dot, this is already open, so let me close this. It will open Adam in that current directory. So that's another really neat thing to do in your terminal. And you might realize that Adam automatically opened up at about 66% the height of my screen. That is because I'm using something called Spectacle. And if I do like Command, Option, Down Arrow, I can start moving and resizing it downwards. Or Up Arrow, I can start moving and resizing it upwards. Um, you probably want to do this setup when you're coding. This would be full screen. You don't want that. You want to do command option down, down, down. And you will have 33% of your screen with your terminal and 66% of your screen with your code. This is enough for you to be able to code. And this is enough for you to be able to see terminal output, see if your tests are running, stuff like that. Uh, Spectacle is free and open source. If you just go to spectacleapp.com, it even shows you kind of how it works by default. Uh, most Some people might be used to command option left and right arrow to move around. Uh, Spectacle will take over that to do things like this. So that might be some concern, but every browser including Atom and a lot of other applications that have tabs, if you do command shift left bracket or right bracket, you can move between tabs that way. So I hope this was good enough help for you guys to get ready for module one. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know or DM me on Slack. Thank you. See ya.